It's new driver season, and in the world of Cobra Golf, that means the much anticipated Cobra Dark Speed Driver. Cobra's most aerodynamic and supposed fastest driver yet, with a larger hot face that this time around will give greater forgiveness as used by Ricky Fowler. But the biggest thing for me initially is that it's black on black on black, which is a driver that I just think looks sensational. So let's take it from the virtual world to the most real of worlds, the driving range in four ways where I get to compare it against my current driver, the Cobra Aerojet LS version. All right, Don, so we're gonna warm up with the Aerojet. Cool. Um, yeah, the idea being is like, I'm pretty confident with every new Cobra driver is gonna be a better iteration of the previous one. Mm. This was my favorite, but like when I say it's my favorite, I've never had so much unbridled joy with actually teeing up a, a club. As in like, I know it's gonna go far, I know it's gonna go pretty straight. Mm. So it's going to take some beating to get this. <laughs> so yeah, let's just have a look, see some numbers and see what difference could be. Brilliant. See, so the ball speed's getting up there. It's just that spin rate. And I mean, for a guy of your caliber in terms of swing speed, that's where we actually need to, you know, keep an eye on the spin rate. So you guys basic, generate it easily. So when you say keep an eye on the spin rate, I mean, I could be losing distance essentially if my Absolutely. spin rate is not yeah. in a good place. I mean, if you look at it, that launch is perfect, um, obviously for high felt conditions. But I mean, if you're launching it around, uh, that previous one was 13.7, spinning at 5,000 on the dot, you're definitely gonna, you're not reaching your full potential. There's no doubt about that. Fulfilling my potential is all I'm here for in 2024, so Don changed up the heads to see if the Dark Speed LS could bring down the spin and generate some more distance. First impressions are really strong. The all black is so stealth-like and mean looking. I feel like it's a lot of, a lot firmer in the head. Yeah, and one thing you'll also get is, you know, a big change in sound. That was good. Okay, that felt good. Cheap, this thing feels like it's hurting the golf ball. I could <laughs> feel like I'm really compressing something here. Yeah. There we go. 170. Okay, so, I mean, look, it's pretty similar to the Aerojet in many ways. Yeah. But mm -hmm. what I do feel is that. I prefer the trajectory. I think it's coming about a bit more penetrating yes. than I'm, mm. I'm used to. Yeah. And that's what you want, because I launched the ball high anyway. It's quite ha cool having that. Yeah, that's the thing. The reason why it's looking a little bit more penetrating now, look, it's, it's minimal stuff, but we managed to get the spin rate down a bit, like you saw for yourself. So the ball flight just seems a little bit more inviting. You know, it's not that balloony shape losing the distance. Yeah. It fights through the wind easier. At the start of this, I'm not expecting to have huge differences in, in, in performance, mm. but it's the little things that make you more confident, okay? So at a dress, really is great. I Good agree. Penetration, like that. That's brilliant. I, I want that, that trajectory for my whole life. Absolutely. Okay, Don, let's, let's talk shafts. Okay. I, I need to get back in the shade as well, so do you. <laughs> So the head's a winner, but now to further enhance this beast with the right shaft. Don put forth the Fujikura Ventus 6X to further the black on black appeal, but to also make me really love smashing drive after drive. Okay, that was a lot of fun obviously, but those range balls aren't so great. So to do real justice to this whole comparison, and of course the dark speed head, we're here at the Cobra Fitting Studio, where we're gonna have the dark speed going into the simulator real golf balls and get some real numbers out of this. Again kicking off with the Aerojet, I launched 10 into the screen and was really happy with how they are coming off the face, with Don confirming some pretty pleasing and truer numbers. And then it was onto the dark speed, and such was my excitement that I forgot to turn on the secondary camera. Nevertheless bombs were launched and I finished off with this one that even drew applause from Don. Yeah. 
finishing on that absolute rocket, which felt pretty good despite my ailing physique. <laughs> um, how, how can we compare the two now? Look, so if we go through it this way, these red numbers here at the top, obviously all of them with the aerojet. Sorry, I was going to say with the aerojet and well. I felt good. Yeah. I, I hit them well. Very good. No, very good. And like you said earlier, it's the best driver you've ever hit. It was a brilliant driver, but we're obviously in the market to improve our stuff. So if we go through this um, thoroughly, you obviously have your ball speed there on the left hand side, uh, your launch angle along with your spin rate, and then obviously the carry distance of 281 and 296 average. It's brilliant. I'm pretty sure you're happy with that. Super happy. But if we go down to the dark speed, you will see a massive jump in ball speed, which I'm not surprised about. Um, we jumped up from 169.3 to 173.8. That's and again, that's like early on, those were mixed bag shots. Yeah. Just the excitement mm. maybe, but that's why well, that's encouraging. Also, um, we managed to decrease the spin rate from 3.4 to 3.1, which is good for your case. Yeah, look, I think because I'm a fade player mm. and I do push it a bit, like I know my spin's going to be probably higher than optimal. Absolutely. But I'm, I've made peace with that. I Absolutely. play I play golf in Joburg, I launch the ball. You can, yeah. I can. Absolutely. Maybe that's just how my game's got. So mm. again, happy. And I mean, look at that jump. I mean, carry we went from 281 to 297, and you're averaging a total of 314. That is, that is sublime. And we even managed to get that launch angle a little bit more penetrating. So that was goal so number one. Everything, and everything is else a massive improvement. And I mean, if, if you want to go deeper, look at your side spin. So this side spin, if it's in positive, it basically makes the axis of the ball that way if it's positive. Mm -hmm. So we actually got it from plus 900 to more plus 360. So that gives you an indication of less shape on the ball. And I mean, if we can go to the dispersion, this would give you a much better conclusion. So see, this is a good indication of- Ah, oh, that arc. Yeah, see, it's a, it's a brilliant indication of that side spin axis being more straight. I do love that black line there. And the exciting thing the exciting thing is, and that's actually exactly what you wanted. Mm. That's what you told me before we did this whole fitting. See, that's- Wanted that's, that more penetrating ball flight. It's seldom in my day-to-day -day kind of golf experience, I play with really good golfers that have that bullet kind of trajectory. Mm. And when you see it, something primal in your brain goes, I want that. Yes, absolutely. I want to hit that. <laughs> that's pretty conclusive. Thank you. That's very good. I'm excited for your part, Ben. Sure, I'm excited for just putting this out in the course now. <laughs> Absolutely. Now onto the build, where in a matter of minutes, Don takes the specs from the testing stock and produces a perfect brand new club for me from the workshop. Which is this very club right here. Now, I absolutely love the Dark Speed LS because I don't really need any help getting the ball in the air. But if you do, there's also the Max and there's also the X head as well. So the Dark Speed has options for a lot of different people, a lot of different swing speeds. Either way, it's an absolute beast. It looks amazing. Can totally, totally recommend it. Yeah. <laughs>